speaking. Hi, how you doing? I'm phoning uh, in regard to the two-man scramble on June 4th. Yes. Hi, are there any more openings in that? Ah, uh, what are we at now? We're at 44. I can certainly put your name down. However, we would need to get one more team to sign up to guarantee your spot because we do need it to be an even number. Okay. Um, so right now we're at 44 teams. What I can do is I can take your name down, and if we have another team sign up by the registration deadline today, um, then we can create a spot for you. Um, if not, unfortunately, we do have to keep it to even teams. So I've just kind of heard through the grapevine that the, the course didn't winter very well. Are you guys kind of like staying at that price point? Are you, are you guys bringing down the, the price I per team? I don't know where that was told to you, but that is uh, pretty dead wrong, to tell you the truth. We're in great shape. <laughs> oh, it, it's that's okay. I, I've kind of, yeah, just yeah. heard... Just some From the rumors. day we opened, we've had 18 greens fully open, no temps. The course is as green as can be. Uh, greens are getting quicker and quicker by the day. Uh, all the greens are in pretty much immaculate shape. We've got no burnt spots, no dry spots. Um, yeah, I don't know who told you. We, we had a uh, still suffered from a hard winter, but I think they might have been a little bit misguided. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, that's well, yeah. that's. I'm glad to hear that. Um, do you know what you know what speed the greens are running at? Uh, I don't know. We uh, don't really use a stint meter too often, um, but if I were to guess, I, I want to say maybe nine. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't been on a stint meter myself in the last little bit, but uh, they're definitely getting quicker and quicker by the day. Okay. And ter- in terms of handicaps, how does the handicap structure work for the for the tournament? Is there a minimum or a maximum? No, there's no min or max. Uh, okay. You just need to be registered with the Golf Canada handicap that we can look up through Golf Canada and confirm. Um, and then basically, you and your partner, we would combine your team handicaps and divide by two. And uh, that team handicap, all that's used for is to place you in division. So we have three divisions this year. Um, it's all gross scoring. So basically, your team handicap will just factor in which division you're into. Okay. Um, okay. And do people typically sandbag a little bit? In term, in regard to the event, like I know that people, some courses I mean, have no more than any other tournament, right? Like it's, we don't really have control over who wants to sandbag or not. I mean, at the end of the day, they're only hurting themselves doing that because this isn't a net event. It's all gross. Oh, it's all they okay. Sand, yeah, if they want to sandbag and go into, you know, Division Three or whatever. We don't have a lot of control over that. Yeah. I know uh, our members, for the most part, um, like you know, we have a little bit of control over that. So we obviously mention to members if. You know, we know some guy is shooting under 80 every time and he's listed as a 20. You know, we go to him and make sure that's fixed before they go in the tournament. Okay. Um, unfortunately, we can't call every single golf course and double check every other member. For sure. Um, that's why we have to go by Golf Canada. No, so, I, I just in know. In the like, world, everybody's honest and puts it in. But, well, that's uh, just it. Yeah. Um, you're going to have sandbaggers in every tournament you play. But for the most part, uh, we usually see guys shoot right around what uh, what their team handicap indicates is, is usually pretty indicative of how they shoot. No, absolutely. I just heard kind of down that way, just a, a bit more west of you guys. You know, I'm not going to name the province, but it does get a little sandbaggy down that way. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like I said, that's that's everywhere. Um, you're never probably going to find a tournament with zero sandbaggers in it. Um, but uh, we do a pretty good job of controlling what we can here. So. Okay. Well, I'm just going to double check with my buddy that you know was. I don't know why he was ranting about how the course was in roughed up, but I am interested. So maybe. Yeah, uh, I would. Be, uh, I'd be interested to see where he found that information. It almost sounds like maybe it's he's getting that information from a different club that's trying to compete with us that maybe isn't doing as good. Yeah, it sounds like it. But um, yeah. okay. Well, listen. I will. I I might try to round up a few more buddies, and then we could kind of enter as four. Obviously, two teams of two, and then. Yeah, if um, you guys did that and entered as two teams, we'd guarantee you a spot right off the bat. Okay. That's the only thing holding me back from guaranteeing spot right now. Is a, we don't want to have just one team alone on hole, basically. No, absolutely. Because it's a shotgun start, that's why we got to keep it even team. For straight. sure. I'm thinking, yeah. too, maybe we might row down, row down in the next couple of weeks just to kind of check things out before the tournament. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, it'd be great. Uh, you're talking about the two-man this weekend, correct? Yes. Yeah, sorry. So I guess it would have to be throughout this week. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, if you want to give us a call later on, I think uh, deadline's going to be about 4 p.m. today. Okay. Okay. Um, but if you like, I can take, like, if you know you and your partner right now, what I can do is I can put your names down. That way, if somebody else does call me today, okay. then I can at least guarantee you guys are in a spot, and all you have to do is call us back with a credit card number by 4 o'clock to confirm. Okay. Uh, yeah. You just... If you want. It's totally up to you, or you can try to get a few more guys and give us a call back. I'm just thinking, like, if we get somebody else call in the meantime and get put on that waiting list, and then you call back with two teams, 
then all of a sudden I can only guarantee spots for one of them. Okay. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just take down my name. I guess that's Richard. Yeah, absolutely. And what's your name, sir? Richard. Richard. Fits in well. What is the story? Fits in well. Can you spell it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't go. Thank you for calling. Hey, um, I was just calling about um, there's these headbands I've been trying to find forever, and I'm just wondering if you guys have them. Um, what uh, what kind of headband was it? They're Nike, and they kind of like they're they're like that different style that kind of make you look like a ninja. You know what I mean? Are they the tennis headband? Yep, kind of tennisy, but they're like um, ninja y too. Like I, I I don't know how else I would explain it. Like um, kind of um, flappy, go around your forehead, flap in the back. Uh, um, uh, just give me one second. I'll look around. Okay. Um, are you looking for something that um, just ties? It kind of ties. So like full, like just to be like, just to tell you what's going on. So it's like my girlfriend's into this like role play stuff. And it's like she, anyway, I don't know if it's normal, but it's ninjas she's into. So I'm just trying to find, so they do kind of flap in the back. If that was too much information, I do apologize. But so they're like kind of like, no worries. okay. Um, but I yeah, kinda, so I'm just trying to look as full ninja as I can. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> Nike and it it's called a not a Nike dry fit head tie. Right. Um and so it was like you would like put it across your forehead and tie it in the back okay. and it would give you that like that like headband Ninja. tie back thing. Okay. Um if you looked at this headband, would you be like, That looks like it could be on a ninja? Or no? Is it look more Tennessee than Ninja? I'm sorry. Uh, I would say it looks more ninja than tennis. Okay. Well, that sounds like that's, I'll be in there today. Okay. And we have it in black and white. Okay. Black's going to work perfect. Okay. Ninja color. Okay. Thanks a lot. I was struck on the planet. Good afternoon. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? I'm just, I'm kind of new into the uh, bodybuilding working out. And I'm just curious to know, you know, if there's a starter kit that, you know, I could get started with. Not a starter kit. No. Uh, your basic starting out uh, things would be your protein. You should have that within about a 20 minute window after your workout. Okay. Uh, you should have vitamins and fish oils. That's what your basic start out kit would be. Fish oil and protein? Protein, fish oil, and vitamins. Okay. Listen, I'm looking to grow some muscles specifically. Um, do you know, you know, does protein, does that target every muscle? Protein heals your muscle. Oh. Like when you work out, you tear muscle. Oh. And you have to heal that muscle in order to grow that muscle. Okay. Um, okay. So, so, but it, it would help heal every muscle on the body? They help the other muscles that you're using during your workout, like your arms, legs, which at whatever you're using. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm curious to know, I mean, is there, is there like a recommended amount to grow the fastest? Not, not for protein. Uh, uh, you should have one within about a 20 minute window after your workout. Uh, the body will process 30 grams at a time. Okay. So, uh, generally that's one scoop. Some might, need a scoop and a half, whatever, but it really about 30 grams for serving. Well, there's one muscle in particular that I'm really looking to grow. I'm just, I'm just curious to know how much protein it'll take. Well, <laughs> I can't, uh, what muscle are you willing to trying to grow? My arms. Yeah. Okay. So that's how much you work out is how fast they're going to grow. Okay. The protein is only going to heal it. Okay. Okay. I guess, is there a recommended amount of times to, to hit a muscle? I mean, there's a few muscles on my body that could use growth, but I think the arms are number one to start off with. 
yeah, well, you're going to start off with your uh, weight and things like that. Yep. And then as you go along, of course, you'll lift heavier weights and you'll get stronger and you'll lift heavier and that'll grow your muscle more. Listen, Nancy, I, I don't know if you're going to be comfortable answering this, but do you know anything about steroids? I do. How old are you? I'm um, just turned 22. You don't do them. No? No. Okay. No. Is there a recommended uh, age? No age, really. Okay. I like, the, I like a lot of the... A lot of the guys will take them before a show. Oh. But then they go right off of them right after it. Okay. And like the big, massive bodybuilders you see on TV and whatnot, yeah. they have doctors to get their, oh. their, you know, the use of steroids, and then they have to go on estrogen to get their levels of steroids down. It's a very complicated thing to do. <clears throat> so I, the, I always always say that the best is to stay away. I had an argument with a guy in here one day. Did you? No, 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 no. As long as you do it right, as long as you do it right. I said, look, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. That's right. He wouldn't talk to me for about two months. Come on. No. So, so you wouldn't say you were pro steroids? I'm against them. Yeah. Okay. Do you do any lifting yourself, Nancy? No. No. Just you're just fully educated. It sounds like you know what you're talking about. Well, I've been here 17 years. I think 17. I Holy smokes. Yep. Okay. Well that, well, that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. So there's no starter kit. You want me to get some steroids, some fish oils? I'm just Not ki- steroids. Protein, <laughs> fish oils, and <laughs> protein, fish oils, and vitamins. You do that, and then, like, don't get into pre-workouts and creatine and all that until you actually get into a routine of your workout. Don't let people talk you into stuff that you don't need right away. Okay. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I misspoke there. Um, gosh. You did, yes. Yes. Um, okay, well, listen, I really appreciate it, Nancy. Um, I might come in to see you later on today to talk a little, a little bit about uh, what protein I should be getting, but okay. um, I really appreciate it. And, and um, I guess if I was interested in steroids, do you have any numbers I could call? Nope. And even if I did, I wouldn't give them to you. Okay, well, thank you so much, Nancy. You're welcome. Bye-bye.